the decision to choose a particular cloud provider should be taken very seriously huh. uh, yeah. because while migration is possible and if you build it agnostic it might be easier yeah, yeah. it's yeah. still not trivial and you don't want to do it without maybe a very good not, reason and uh, maybe it's not the recommended to go agnostic because uh, if you're going to develop uh, in an agnostic way things will take longer to build and not be as efficient you deleverage yourself from doing some work when you can consume a a really efficient service, yeah. which they offer it compelling cheap to something that yeah. you manage. Because by definition, an agnostic uh, solution can only use the kind of services that all the cloud providers exactly. have. Yeah, that's Whatever the AWS has specific, or Azure has specific to it, or Google, they can't use it because it, it can't be translated. In nowadays, the uh, uh, agnostic, uh, it would be everything should be in containers, yeah. or everything should be run in uh, uh, virtual machines or, or uh, uh, something similar. In the moment you step out of a virtual machine or, or a Docker, you're yeah. asking for, for custom stuff from a specific uh, uh, provider. Well, like, like you said, if I don't know, AWS has a specific service which they found out a way to calculate prime numbers really fast. Yeah. <laughs> and it's called AWS prime, prime number factorization. And if, yeah, exactly. if you want to call that service, mm -hmm. You can't migrate to Azure without a lot no. of refactoring because they don't have that. You need to build your own or the other way around. Yeah. Factorization. Uh -huh.